good day students um in this lecture in this video lecture i will be discussing with you about writing a story this is uh, the part of creative writing or creative use of language that you have in your lcc l2 courses so i will be teaching you three kinds of creative uses of language the three kinds being writing of stories of travelogues and of advertisement matters so in this particular lecture i will be discussing with you or we will be studying together few anecdotes few ways few tips that would help you or guide you in writing a story of course you should understand that since we do not have the pleasure of time and it will not be possible for us to practice writing actually together i will encourage you to practice writing stories on your own of course i will be sharing with you some names of stories some stories that you can read that will help you in understanding the various parts of stories after you have learned this after you have viewed this video after you have gone through this lecture so you will have to practice writing some on your own and you may just send them to me and i will be more than happy to make corrections to give you suggestions and advice so let's let's see so with the slow development of human civilization came language and very easily speaking with language came the possibility of telling a story perhaps the telling of or uh, developing of a simple anecdote of a simple moral simple advice which arrests our attention which uh, which makes us pay attention to that moral uh, to that story to that little story to that advice this um, the modern short story is often in a similar way the modern short story is often told in such a way that it suggests that it suggests someone is talking to us just as we may tell a friend or relative something that has happened to us or to someone we know the modern short story always seems like this as if it is a very casual normal conversation that maybe i am uh, when you when when i read a modern short story i feel like someone is talking to me someone is relating someone else's story to me the modern short story emerges or rises up from the tradition in which stories were spoken not read the oral tradition of storytelling so we have our indian epics we have the mahabharata we have the ramayana mahabharat and our ramayan যেটা কিনা প্রথমে মৌখিকভাবে বলা হতো চর্চা করা হতো ওরাল ট্রেডিশন দি ওরাল ট্রেডিশন অফ স্টোরি টেলিং অ্যান্ড সিন্স দি মডার্ন শর্ট স্টোরি ইজ আ ডেভেলপড ভার্জন একটা উন্নত ভার্জন অফ 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 দিস ট্রেডিশনাল ওরাল স্টোরি টেলিং ইট সিমস ইন আ ভেরি সিমিলার ওয়ে ইন লাইন উইথ দি ওরাল ট্রেডিশন সিমস দ্যাট the story is being told someone is telling us a story that is the primary aspect it is the primary the first feeling that we get when we read a modern short story is that someone is telling it to us someone is talking to us in a very interesting in in a fashion in a manner that catches our attention that catches our notice and we become interested in order to learn the story in order to know how the story ends so like a novel 
like a novel the modern short story always shows us something of how people respond to life how people react how people behave in life the method of the short story is of course very much limited than a novel ekta uponnasher theke ekta golpo onek choto hoy technically length e khub choto hoy a novel tries to create a world ekta jagot toiri kore ekta uponnash thomas hardy's novel is an entire world he has created an entire world of the wessex which he portrays in his novels so a novel tries to create a world its own reality within which its characters develop in some novels we are shown the whole life of a character as it is impossible to write about every second of that character's existence the novel represents the whole life in a series of moments key incidents that create a strong sense of the kind of person he or she has invented so if i am reading a novel about a man or about a woman if suppose we are reading thomas hardy's the mayor of casterbridge that shows us its titular its, uh, its protagonist its main character that is henchard michael henchard in the novel we find michael henchard growing from his youth to an el- to, to to a matured age till he dies so the whole life of henchard but do you think that it is actually possible to show the whole life in reality within a few pages of a book so what the novelist does is that he chooses a few key moments of the character's life that he thinks of course that he imagines he chooses key moments of his whole life and represents them in the novel why key moments because these are the moments that define the character most maybe some decisions that the character has made maybe some things that the character has said maybe some action that the character has committed that defines his or her personality that defines his him or her the novelist includes these key moments in the novel in the short story however we may catch only a glimpse of individuals either through a dramatic incident or by showing them in an everyday situation doinandin jiboner ghotona bole o ar ki sei manush ta sei byakti that individual sei byakti byapare amra jante pari or by showing fleeting moments from their lives mane khanik khoner kotha bachcha je gulo eshei abar je je sujog gulo eshei chole jacche sei gulor byapare short story te golpo te choto golpo te lekha hoy and from all of this all of these from which the reader may gain some but not an Im- entire impression of the character so in a short story amra khali ei ekta byaktir jholok pai kono ekta khub interesting ghotona dara ba dhoro kono doinandin jibon ta kirom katche shei tar description er dara ba tar kichu খানিক্ষণের সময়ের কথার ব্যাপারে পড়ে এইগুলো সব কিছুর দ্বারা আমরা এই ব্যক্তির এই চরিত্রটার ব্যাপারে কিছুটা আইডিয়া ফর্ম করতে পারি পুরোটা না নট দি এন্টায়ার ইমপ্রেশন বাট সাম ইমপ্রেশন অ্যান্ড ওয়াইল উই মে ফিল দ্যাট উই রিয়েলি নো ক্যারেক্টার্স ইন আ নভেল অ্যান্ড মে রেসপন্ড টু দেম অ্যাজ টু পিপল ইন রিয়েল লাইফ it is rarely possible to feel the same for a character in a short story for the reasons that i just gave that in a short story we get a glimpse of the individual whereas in a novel we are presented the whole life of the individual so characters in the short story are closer to those people in real life with whom we have fleeting contact like chance meetings holiday acquaintances so after reading a novel we realize that we know so much about a character 
but after reading a short story we feel that this character is only just one of all of those people whom we meet every day in our lives hoyto bus e jete jete keu pashe boshe ache take niye ekta choto golpo tar bapare to ami kichu jani na tar bapare uponnash ta ki kore hobe she uponnashik uponnasher charitrer moto amar kache kono din hote pare na she ekta choto golper charitrer moto amar kache tar tram e dekha hoyeche ধরো ঘুরতে গেছি সেখানে কোথাও দেখা হয়েছে হুম দিস ইজ দ্য ডিফারেন্স উই শেয়ার টাইম উইথ দিস পিপল বাট নো ভেরি লিটল অ্যাবাউট দেন অফ দেয়ার পাস্ট অর ওয়াট দে রিয়েলি আর লাইক অ্যান্ড দেন পার হ্যাপস লুজ কন্ট্যাক্ট অ্যান্ড অল দ্যাট রিমেন্স ইজ এ ব্রিফ ইম্প্রেশন বেসড অন আ ফিউ শেয়ার্ড মোমেন্টস মাচ অফ দি অপিল of the short story lies in this incompleteness e jo kichu ta jante parlam puro ta na incomplete hoye gelo and this is where the short story becomes so interesting because of this incompleteness it raises questions doubts ambiguities তো তোমাদের গল্প লেখার সময় এগুলো মাথায় রাখতে হবে সো হাউ ডু উই রাইট দেন আ শর্ট স্টোরি হাউ ডু উই স্ট্রাকচার হোয়াট ইজ আ স্ট্রাকচার অফ আ শর্ট স্টোরি কতগুলো কি কি পার্টস আছে কি কি অংশ আছে কীরকমভাবে আমরা একটা গল্প তৈরি করতে পারি সো লেটস ইউ দ্য শর্ট স্টোরি ইজ অফ এন বেস্ট around a single key moment or incident in the life of the characters at times it represents a turning point in a character's life it can be a moment that actually triggers or begins tension or conflict between two individuals or an individual and society it may be less the moment itself than the character's response to it or its consequences that interests the writer in such cases the key moment might already have occurred or been reported some moments can be trivial and ordinary others seem dramatic and quite out of the ordinary so this is what a short story is more most often about a single key moment in a character's life it may be about the moment itself it may be the story may be about the character's response to the moment it may be how that moment helps begin a tension a conflict between the character and other characters between the character and the society he lives in in the place he works in a relationship that he is in with any other character this is this is based according to the interest of the writer tumi kon ta niye likhte chao tumi ki oi muhurto ta ke niye likhte chao jeta oi conflict toiri korche jeta oi tension ta toiri korche niki tumi oi charitrer reactions towards that moment oi muhurtor proti je reaction ache charitre seta niye likhte chao ওই চরিত্রটা ওই মুহূর্তটার পরে কীরমভাবে পরিবর্ত পরিবর্তন আসছে তার মধ্যে চেঞ্জেস যেগুলো আসছে সেই ক্যারেক্টারের মধ্যে সেইটা নিয়ে লিখতে চাও দ্যাট ডিপেন্ডস আপন ইউর ওন ইন্টারেস্ট অ্যাজ ইউ ক্যান সি অন দ্য স্ক্রিন দ্যাট আই হ্যাভ রিটার্ন দ্যাট সামথিং হ্যাজ হ্যাপেন্ড টু সাম ওয়ান দের হ্যাজ টু বি আ কি মোমেন্ট দিস ইজ হোয়াট আই এম টকিং অ্যাবাউট দ্য কি মোমেন্ট দি নারেটিভ ইন্টারেস্ট হেল্পস to focus our attention wherever your interest lies that is wherever the interest of the writers of the writer lies it helps us the readers it helps focus our attention on the single often decisive moment and what it reveals of the central character the moment is often one of great tension or conflict and we follow the character through the consequences to some kind of resolution to ei muhurto ta 
বেশিরভাগ ক্ষেত্রে একটা বিশাল বড় কনফ্লিক্ট তৈরি করে টেনশন তৈরি করে আর আমরা পুরো গল্পের মধ্যে দিয়ে এই চরিত্র এই চরিত্রের এই মুহূর্তের পরে এই মুহূর্তটার পরে যা যা ফল ঘটছে যা যা ঘটছে হোয়াট এভার ইজ হ্যাপেনিং টু দি ক্যারেক্টার বিকজ অফ দিস মোমেন্ট যতক্ষণ না কোনো একটা রেজলিউশন কোনো একটা কনক্লুশনে আসছে কিছু একটা চেঞ্জ আসছে আফটার দিস মোমেন্ট ততক্ষণ এই গল্পটা চলতে থাকে অফেন দি ক্যারেক্টার ইনভলভড ইন দিস সিঙ্গল মোমেন্ট ডাজ নট গ্রাস বা ডাজ নট আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য ইম্পর্টেন্স অফ হোয়াট ইজ হ্যাপেনিং দ্য রিডার মে ওয়েল গ্রাস হোয়াট দি ক্যারেক্টার ফেলস টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড এরকম অনেক সময় আমাদের সাথেও হয়ে থাকে তাই না এমন কিছু একটা ঘটে গেল যেটা আমরা বুঝতেই পারলাম না যে সেটার ইম্প্যাক্ট কি হলো সেটার কনসিকুয়েন্সেস কি হতে পারে সেটা কি কারণে হলো আমাদের কাছে ওটা ইম্পর্টেন্টই না কিন্তু হয়তো হয়তো একটা অবজারভার একটা রাইটারের কাছে ওটা অনেক বেশি ইম্পর্টেন্ট এই যে ফার্স্ট স্লাইডটাতে আমরা দেখলাম দ্যাট ইট মাইট রিভিল সাম শর্ট স্টোরি মাইট রিভিল সামথিং অ্যাবাউট আওয়ার সেলভস অ্যাজ ওয়েল তো রাইটার যখন ওই অ্যাপারেন্টলি আনইম্পর্টেন্ট ইনসিডেন্ট অফ দি ক্যারেক্টার ওকে নিয়ে লিখছে যেরকম ভাবে লিখছে দ্যাট মেকস এস ফিল দ্যাট মে বি উই আর অলসো লার্নিং সামথিং অ্যাবাউট আর সেলফস ইভেন দো দি ক্যারেক্টার ডাজ নট নো ডাজ নট নো দ্যাট ডাজ নট আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য সেম so how do we let know the readers about if i am a writer then how do i let know the readers what i want to tell them what my message is there are various ways now we come to the technical aspects of the story so there are various points of view in a short story points of view means from whose point of view is the story to পার্সপেকটিভ যেটাকে আমরা বলি ফ্রম হুজ পার্সপেকটিভ কে বলছে গল্পটা অ্যান্ড মোস্ট কমনলি অথার্স ও রাইটার্স দে রাইট ইন দ্য থার্ড পার্সন হি আর দ্য পার্সন টেলিং দ্য স্টোরি অফ এন সিমস টু বি কোয়াইট আউটসাইড দ্য ইভেন্টস দ্যাট মেক আপ দ্য স্টোরি দ্য নারেটার সিমস টু নো অল অ্যাবাউট দ্য ক্যারেক্টার্স শোজ আস হাউ দে অ্যাক্ট অ্যান্ড হাউ দে থিঙ্ক অ্যান্ড অফ এন অ্যাপিয়ার্স টু বি নিউট্রাল টুওয়ার্ডস দেম দ্যাট ইজ দ্য the narrator does not have any uh, judgments does not have any um, opinions about the characters neutral 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 narration and he merely he only shows the he or she the writer the narrator only shows how the characters respond in a particular kind of situation the events are described almost as if through the eyes of the report of a reporter যেরকম আমরা নিউজ পেপারসে পড়ে থাকি থার্ড পার্সন নারেটিভ নিউট্রাল ডেসক্রিপশন অফ এন ইনসিডেন্ট দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াট আ থার্ড পার্সন পয়েন্ট অফ ভিউ ইজ মোস্ট সামটাইমস উইথ দ্য থার্ড পার্সন নারেটিভ থার্ড পার্সন পয়েন্ট অফ ভিউ যখন ইউজ করা হচ্ছে তখন থার্ড পার্সন নারেটিভ হয়ে যাচ্ছে সামটাইমস উইথ দ্য থার্ড পার্সন নারেটিভ নারেটিভ উই আর এনকারেজড দ্যাট ইজ দ্য রিডার্স আর এনকারেজড টু সি দ্য স্টোরি থ্রু দি আইজ অফ ওয়ান অফ দি ক্যারেক্টার্স we often identify with this character and perhaps sympathize with him with him or her so the third person narrative can also be such that it is as if the readers are made to see the world as the character sees the world jerom bhabe sei charitra ta dekhche ei prithibi ta ba samaj ta jerom jerom bhabe sei charitra ta dekhte parche ba onubhob korche experience korche এই থার্ড পার্সন নারেটিভটা মাঝে মাঝে ওরকম ভাবেও লেখা যায় অ্যান্ড ইন সাম আদার কেসেস দ্য স্টোরি ইজ টোল্ড ইন দ্য ফার্স্ট পার্সন পয়েন্ট অফ ভিউ দিস ক্যান সাজেস্ট দ্যাট দ্য স্টোরি ইজ অটোবায়োগ্রাফিক্যাল দ্যাট ইট ইজ অ্যাবাউট দ্য পার্সন হু ইজ টেলিং দ্য স্টোরি হাউ এভার ফার্স্ট পার্সন পয়েন্ট অফ ভিউ এর কিছু লিমিটেশনস আছে কিছু ডিসঅ্যাডভান্টেজেস আছে এভরিথিং ইন দ্য স্টোরি ইজ সিন থ্রু দি আইজ অফ দি I figure, first person means I. I walked towards the pond. I saw the woman standing beside the pond. 
I thought that she was a beautiful lady. She was dressed in pretty white blue and she looked like an eternal sunshine. So, when readers are reading this book, they will be able to read this book. They will be able to read this book. They will be me, the teller of the story. I, I saw the girl. She was beautiful to me. I felt that she was like an eternal sunshine. I felt, I saw, I walked. So completely from my perspective. What I cannot see, cannot I cannot describe. So I can see, 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 I can see. The first person point of view. The third person, what is it? He walked towards the pond. The children, they saw, the, they saw a strange man limping towards the dry pond. So, I have two points of view. Pela. Third person narrative views. One is that the children saw a pond and the children saw him. I said that the children saw him. 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 He is limping towards the pond. There is the difference. Our experience is by the kichui describe thagbe na if the story is written from the first person point of view. But a third person point of view includes many kinds of experiences, the experiences of many people, many other characters. However, there is some appeal, there is some interest in this first person point of view. That is, he does not, the character does not necessarily understand what, is he, what he hears and reports. Or he may misinterpret it. The reader becomes involved though because he or she may feel closer to such a narrator. The events seem to be happening before him or her. The reader may feel part of the experience. So a first person point of view has an, an advantage as well. When a story is being told from the first person point of view, the readers feel that they are experiencing the story. As a reader, when I am reading a story, I am constantly involved within the story. I try to see the world as this narrator sees the world. I try to see the woman by the pond as the narrator sees the woman by the pond. If the narrator misinterprets or misjudges what he sees in front of him, then I, the reader, also experience the same misinterpretation. Or I may not. I may sympathize with this narrator. I may feel pity for this narrator. So there can be a lot of things that the reader may feel. So you can employ either of these two points of view in your short story. Now we come to the style of writing a story. Style is, style means in a narrow sense, style suggests the way a writer uses language to present his or her story. Kirokom bhabe bhashata babohar hoche, golpota toiri korar jono. Kirokom bhabe, how the writer uses language. Samuel Taylor Coleridge, S.T. Coleridge was a poet of the Romantic age of uh, British literature, and he said that poetry is the best words in the best order. Tarmani? Shatik shabdo, shatik bhabe babohar kora. Otake kobita bole. A short story is also very similar in aspect. A writer may rely on descriptive language to establish, to create a precise, a correct setting for his story. To evoke a particular place. 
to remind the readers of a particular place, to remind the readers of a particular time, of a particular mood, of a particular atmosphere. So you can use descriptive style in your short story. In other stories, it may point to us to a telling image or a symbol, symbol whereby an idea or feeling which is difficult to express is presented through a comparison with something else felt to have similar qualities. So symbolic, as in a symbolic language means where an idea or feeling which is very difficult to explain, to express, it is presented through a comparison which has similar qualities. For example, the short story called the dry rock it points us the dry rock the, the, the title itself is very symbolic as it points us to a life without any principles the rock of principle which is dry in another story in another uh, story, in another example, the red ball, the story called the red ball, it is also very symbolic in its title because it represents the sense of acceptance by a boy who is new in a place, who are new in his community, who is new in his community. In the stories of D. H. Lawrence. Again, D. H. Lawrence is another uh, writer, the, a modern writer he was, that is early, ninth, early 20th century. In, in the stories of D. H. Lawrence, the setting becomes more important. The setting means, a setting is the element of place or location in fiction locale the locale was the old fashioned world for it but setting implies location in time time of the day as well as historic time so a short story can be set in, 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 in uh, during the era of the world war it can be set in today's world it can be set uh, during the golden age of india it can be set during the british rule of india it can be set in the future as well. So it implies location in time and such matters as the weather out of doors or the temperature in the room, all of this is involved in the setting. It may seem that the setting is of very small consequence or very little importance and in stories where the setting does not matter, it is of less importance. But in successful stories, but in good stories, where everything works together, it's useful to see what the choice of setting contributes. And as, as with all other aspects of a good story, the setting may be basic to the original conception or may be the result of conscious and deliberate choice in the course of composition. So the author, the writer, Tumar, tumi, tumar golpur daral tumi ki message ba ki book to book to iri kutta chai chu. Tumar readers the shamne. To tumi jodi other, tumi jodi readers there ke ba amader ke patriotism er shikha di teja. Tahanu tumar golpur ta should be appropriately set during the independence struggle of India, during the various kinds of uh, mass struggle that takes place in our state. If you want to teach the readers about love, you may use some historical figures and provide them with a historical setting and then introduce two characters from that time, from the past time and then teach the readers give a lesson to the readers about love. So the setting is a very deliberate, a very 
conscious choice that you must make and if it is a question of choice then the first decision about setting for any author especially for the author of a short story where you have to remember the about where you have to remind yourself about the length of the story about the duration of the story the setting for you is the selection of the place itself for here you can make use of certain attributes certain features of this setting that already exists either actually in the place itself or can be presumed to exist in the reader's conception of the place without having to create these connotations himself yourself that is to tumi kon setting ta choose korbe kon jayga ta kon shomoy ta choose korbe upon that depends it's very it is very important this choice is very important because tumi shei jayga ta shei shomoy tar kichu kichu features kichu kichu important incidents golper moddhe include korte paro describe korte paro ba jodi khub important বা খুব হিস্টোরিক্যালি ফেমাস বা পপুলার সেটিং হয় সময় হয় জায়গা হয় তাহলে তোমাকে সেটা ডেসক্রাইবও করতে হবে না গল্পের মধ্যে বিকজ দ্য রিডার্স উইল অলরেডি নো ইফ ইউ আর রাইটিং অ্যাবাউট পিপল আর ইফ ইউ আর রাইটিং আ স্টোরি সেট ইন দ্য জালিয়ানওয়ালা বাগ দেন দ্য রিডার্স উইল অবভিয়াসলি নো দ্য হিস্ট্রি অফ দ্য সেটিং তো তোমাকে আর শব্দ ব্যবহার করতে হবে না ওটা ডেসক্রিপশনের জন্য বিকজ ইন আ শর্ট স্টোরি You must always remind yourself about how much you can write. You may you may also use straightforward language in order to uh, you know just tell what you want to tell in your story. For example, the title "A Present for a Good Girl" that itself describes to you what the story is about. So your language may be straightforward enough. No use of symbols. and another aspect of the style to consider is the use of dialogue because the short story relies on com- compression that is it should be short by its very nature it tends it should present rather than explain your story should present to the readers what you want to say rather than you explaining your message your moral whatever it is instead of describing a tone of voice or what a person of feeling the writer may merely include what a character what characters say so if you do not want to describe in two full paragraphs the anger of a character you might just include dialogue in your story to show why the character gets angry and the readers will understand the degree of his anger dependent on the situation so this throws again use of dialogue throws emphasis on the readers interpretation how the reader interprets the story and using dialogue often helps in the story remaining short Now let's talk about a very important part of learning about story writing the beginning the middle and the end of story writing of of your story that is so let's here in front of your screen you have an extract uh, from a story you have an extract uh, from a story and this is how the story begins it's a dialogue as you can see such a dialogue if you begin your story with such a dialogue if your story is beginning has such a dialogue then it provides what we call an initiation initiation into the situation that is the writer you are initiating the situation you are beginning the situation beginning telling the situation through a dialogue but it may be very unnecessary it is unnecessary it is of course overly explained ex- ex- explained extra there is an ex- extra explanation that you can see over here so it is unimportant but even artfully done dialogue if 
you say carries the exposition that it is it exposes the characters it reveals the characters to the readers for the first time even if you are using well constructed dialogue it might still be very unimportant characters always seem to be telling one another what they both already know just for the readers benefit if information is to be gathered from one character to another that is if information has to be shared between two characters and there is transfer of information from one character to another then there has to be some reason for it so <coughs> some request or demand on one character's part for an explanation from another and this situation cannot really exist in the beginning of a story such a situation can exist toward the end or in the middle of a story so if there is a dialogue right at the beginning of a short story dialogue wherein two characters are talking to each other they are sharing some information then we must assume that one of the characters has demanded such an explanation and the other character is explaining so this demand cannot exist at the beginning of a story because you have to understand since the story is very short in length it if it begins with sharing of information for reasons that we do not know then the readers become quite confused so beginning the story with a dialogue or beginning the story with an exposition in which you reveal in which you reveal the characters to the readers to the very first time it is not necessary at all it is a very old type of writing stories now the trend or the style is to deliberately to knowingly withhold information to make it suspenseful to make the readers interested through suspense through curiosity the absence of any exposition the absence of any revelation of characters it becomes effective part of plotting so that the plot turns on the unrevealed information so that you build the suspense up to the desired extent up till when you decide that now is the time to reveal the information to the readers so you withhold the information whatever information you may have shown through dialogue you withhold that you hide that you do not reveal that to the readers yet you build the suspense you engage the readers attention in your story and then at the right point you reveal the information thus the fiction writer a short story writer in this case does not need does not really need to create a beginning of his or her story you do not need a beginning of the story you do not need any exposition you can launch the story right there and right then and you begin as near the middle as possible as near the middle as possible and if you do not feel that the reader needs immediately to know of certain facts about his about your characters about your setting about the entire situation if you do not feel that the reader needs to know them immediately then you may just recount them as straight forwardly as possible without trying to hide them in dialogue the modern reader can understand quite a lot of can can gather a lot of information can retain a lot of information at a same point at a same point of time you need not feel that your readers do not understand what you are trying to say the readers can learn about the characters and their appearance along the way as he or she reads the story the reader can incidentally learn about the characters from time to time 
The reader can imagine what the apartment looks like all on his or her own until you have some real reason to describe it to him or her, a reason relating to the story as a whole rather than only to a part or only to a character. The reader is always more willing to guess than be bored. If the reader is puzzled, he or she is at the same time interested, intrigued in your story. So a lack of any true beginning, a lack of exposing your characters. If you do not do that, you create suspense. You create a sort of curiosity for the readers. The readers desire to find out what is the explanation of all this. It can drive him or her towards the end of the story. What will happen next? So in the beginning, the writer will look again at the short stories. If, if you, that is, if you look back again at the short stories that you love the most and you give it a thought, you will surely find that the first sentence or first or two, sen first, two, you know, first one or two sentences of the story actually has the whole meaning of the story. So as we see, as Irving Shaw's Dry Rock begins, by saying, we are late, Helen said as the cab stopped at a light. So the dry rock, as I said, is a symbolic title. It symbolizes the rock of principles which has gone dry. That is, a character is within the story who is without any principles. Kono noitik bhabe bichar kore na, shei choritrut, ei golper mut. Tai jonno golper naam holo the dry rock. And that is why also the story begins such, we are late, Helen says, as the cab, that is its taxi stopped at a light. That is, the taxi has stopped at the beginning of the story begins such, and it creates a setting that it is a busy road. There is a red light in the, at the signal, and the, the taxi has stopped at the red light as it should. And this character says that we are late. That means that you need to break the signal, break the law because I am late. So I have no principles and I do not follow the law. And so also, Ernest Hemingway's short story, A Clean, Well-Lighted Place, it began, begins such that it was, he says that it was late and everyone had left the cafe except an old man who sat in the shadow the leaves of a tree made against the electric light. Throughout the story, Hemingway creates an image, a setting, and associates life with light and death with dark. And the old man sitting in the shadow establishes this, makes this clear in the very first sentence. Next, we move on. To the middle of your story. What the middle of a short story might do is end with a moment of movement of character. The character moves. How does the character move? You create a crisis that is a turn in the action that affects the life of one or more major characters in the story in some way. So you create a situation which is a crisis which affects one or more major characters in your story in some way. And this crisis ends in a climax. That is the most important turn of situation that you create within the story. This is the moment of movement or we can call it whatever, it, we can call it dynamic movement. And it should ideally, this crisis or this climax 
this should ideally or correctly occur in the middle of your story. And as you can see in the end you need not introduce any more characters you need not have any uh, have any well <clears throat> information shared you need not have any new dialogue you need not have any crisis any climax or any moment of movement but your story need not only tell us what happened in the story itself need only make clear the slight movement which has already taken place in the middle of the story you need to make it clear that this is the change that has happened, that this is the turn that has taken place within the character. A lot of modern short stories don't seem to have much of an end at all. And that is where the interest in the short story lies the most. That is, it is open-ended, that it is open to all sorts and all kinds of varied interpretations by any number of writers who, sorry, any number of readers who read the story. So, this is the beginning, the middle of the end, the three very important aspects that you needed to know about a short story. So, at the end, at the end of this lesson, we must be able to understand or we must be able to gather an idea of how to construct the story, what devices we may use, how I should be very much clear about the points of views that I want to use the kind of dialogues that I want to include or do I want to include a dialogue at all or not? What should be the setting which must depend upon the purpose of my writing a story? So my story writing should have some effect upon the readers. When the reader reads your story, he or she must be able to take back something to himself or herself. He or she, the reader must not forget your story as soon as he or she reads it. The story should have certain kind of effects, certain effects that should emanate from your story, the effect on the reader. So what should they be? One desired effect should be to evoke Other effects, such as universality of theme, significance of action, and so forth. The events and actions within your story should be should end very satisfactorily, and it one it, it should it must convince me, a reader, that the final outcome or the ending of your story is justified. The other desired effect is that the final in outcome and the events of the action provide me some surprise or uncertainty so as to engross me so as to attract my attention further and beyond the story it should evoke related effects of suspense tension conflict it is necessary really to reconcile both of these effects so that they become one effect contributing to the necessary unity of the story so if at the end if the final outcome of your story ends with a surprise, then I must be conv convinced that this surprise is justified because of all the actions and all the characters that you have already provided within your story. So how do we achieve these effects then? How do we then achieve these effects? How to achieve these effects I have already discussed very briefly still. Again. We can use description, a passage describing the place where the action in a story is about to take place establishes the setting, but the description can also evoke a mood appropriate to the setting. You can use adjectives or nouns or adverbs which are colorful, which are dull, which are cheerful, which are sad. You can use comparisons, you can use symbols, you can use sounds of the language. The slithering of snakes, this phrase may contribute to the fear that is evoked when we hear the slithering of snakes. Passages describing a character's appearance also help establish characterizations. 
You can use symbols, the use of imagery in descriptive passages. One of so many ways that symbol can be used to prepare the reader for events that take place. A broken bowl, for example, may prepare the readers for the for for violence that may take place uh, in within the story. Symbols of violence may prepare us for violence. Symbols of love may prepare the readers for love, etc., etc. We can use other comparative instances. We can you, you can write about other circumstances which you can compare to your own characters. It may also establish the universality of the theme. You can use flashbacks within your story. You can, of course, use dialogue within your story. So all of these techniques you can use within your story in order to achieve the desired, effect, desired effects. So after this, in front of you, you can see that I have suggested some stories that you may read. Uh, if any one of you want the stories in PDF format, then please come up. Please ask me and I will provide them to you. I will provide you with some additional materials on techniques of story writing, which you can read. And of course, if you need any further assistance, then I am here to help you out. Thank you very much. In the next lesson, we will be learning about writing travelogues.